This summer, off-road vehicle enthusiasts were thrilled by the video showcasing the latest all-terrain vehicle, the Burlak. This eight-wheeled beauty is capable of operating in the Arctic zone and boasts an impressive eight-by-eight-wheel arrangement, a cruising speed of 43.5 miles per hour, and a ground clearance of up to 31.5 inches. Furthermore, with full tanks, Burlak can travel from 1,242 to 3,107 miles. To ensure comfort during long journeys, developers have added features of a mobile home to Burlak. The cabin of the all-terrain vehicle is spacious enough to accommodate up to nine people and includes a kitchen and a bathroom. If you take your bike on a long ride, this is what you'll get. A three-wheeled electric bike that's perfect for off-road adventures. These bikes are assembled by Deckers, whose craftsmen take into account each client's wishes and offer optimal components. For the Deckers Hunter model, motors up to 1.5 kilowatts are available, as well as a battery that allows you to travel up to 62.14 miles. If the initial Shimano Olivio group set is retained, the rider will have access to 27 speeds. The outcome is a trail bike that is both quiet and powerful, providing comfort and the thrill of conquering long trails. The Tactic All-Terrain Vehicle website greets visitors with the slogan, Roads are no longer needed. These all-terrain vehicles belong to the XTV or Extreme Terrain Vehicle class, meaning they can traverse almost any terrain. The Tactic Expert model features a 4x4 wheel arrangement and a 55 GP engine, which may seem modest compared to similar vehicles. Can the Italian supercar drive on snowdrifts and swamps and swim at a speed of 3.11 miles per hour? Additionally, the all-terrain vehicle has a payload capacity of 1,322.77 pounds. The Tactic Expert is available for purchase for $20,600. Have you watched the movie Terminator? Well, robot tanks have become a reality. Textron Systems offers the Ripsaw M5, an unmanned tank that can reach speeds of up to 62.14 miles per hour and produce two types of drones, flying and ground. The choice of weapons depends on the customer's preferences. For instance, the M5 version with an automatic 30 mm gun, MK44 Bushmaster II is available. The available options include the anti-tank complex, javelin and grenade launcher, Krauss J. Additionally, the tank surveillance system has been enhanced with artificial intelligence algorithms. Spitzberg and Treble required transportation to take tourists around the Svalbard archipelago and found a solution in the TL6 Universal Tract platform. With the addition of a special module, the platform can now carry groups of up to 24 people, including a guide and driver, while limiting the speed to 31.07 miles per hour. This allows everyone to fully appreciate the beauty of the local landscapes. It is worth noting that this type of equipment can be built on the TL6 platform. A similar tracked vehicle, the Heiglands BV206, is used to service wind turbines. Its design allows it to operate in snowy conditions without getting stuck in snowdrifts. Hydratrek is a business that specializes in providing access to hard-to-reach places. 
Their all-terrain vehicles are utilized by farmers, rescue workers, lab technicians, and many others. Even the entry-level CM66 model can carry five people and tow 2,998 pounds of cargo. Additionally, the CM66 is capable of swimming, as well as the more powerful D2488B model. By the way, it was successfully used even during Hurricanes Joaquin and Harvey because the 115 horsepower engine can tow 9,921 pounds. Customers can request additional options such as seats for eight people, a hydraulic winch, and emergency lighting. The CM66 model costs $62,000, while the D2488B costs approximately $70,000. SCG seeks out the world's toughest races, such as the 24 Hours of Lyman, builds cars capable of competing in them, and adapts those cars to create versions for ordinary roads and customers. One of the fruits of SCG's labor is the boot. Top Gear had positive things to say about this buggy. From an entertainment perspective, this is one of the best cars we have ever driven. The boot is available in both two-door and four-door versions, all wheels have independent suspension with 18 inches of travel. The base engine delivers 460 GP, but there are variants with 650 GP. Buggies equipped with such an engine cost around $300,000. The Steinadler is an unusual electric vehicle that can carry up to 606.27 pounds and has a ground clearance of 7.09 inches. It can reach speeds of up to 43.5 miles per hour off-road and has a range of 59 miles on a single charge. The patented suspension system offers settings for both calm and aggressive driving. The Steinadler's developers design and manufacture 85% of the platform's components, resulting in easy maintenance. The all-wheel drive version of the Steinadler is priced at The Rhine Metal Mission Master is a family of unique autonomous all-terrain vehicles developed for military use. These vehicles can be utilized for fire support, reconnaissance, and assisting with the evacuation of the wounded. The video showcases the tests of the XT all-terrain vehicle in Finland, which is capable of carrying one ton of cargo and traveling up to 466.03 miles on a single refueling. The PAV system is responsible for driving the vehicle in unmanned mode. Thanks to this system, it is possible to activate the tracking mode. In the presence of weapon modules, the rover will not open fire until it receives permission from the operator. In 2017, Metal Shark introduced the Swamp Shark Drive propulsion system, which proved to be highly successful. The company even proposed using it in military applications. The system's success is due to its unique combination of propeller, stabilization, and cooling systems. Vessels equipped with Swamp Shark Drive can navigate through heavily overgrown shallow water and swampy terrain with ease. The Swamp Shark Drive can handle up to 550 horsepower and almost 1,700 pound-feet of torque. Unlike water jet systems, it does not require air intake cleaning. Additionally, if the system collides with an object, such as a log, the propeller bounces back without damage.
The Falcon snowmobile developers have successfully combined the working capabilities of their models with the comfort of tourist models. Even the basic version of the snowmobile comes equipped with heated handlebars, and customers can choose from several engines with power ranging from 20 to 30 horsepower, depending on their needs. The dashboard is digital, and the electric starter is standard. The front suspension enables you to adjust the camber and caster of the skis, achieving optimal controllability. This snowmobile costs $4,838. According to the developers, Widescape is the world's first standing snowmobile. They encourage customers to awaken their inner explorer and enjoy a unique riding experience while standing on the Widescape. The WS250 model costs $8,899. Its weight of 200.62 pounds and width are notable features. In fact, two copies of the snowmobile can fit into the body of a pickup truck at once. An engine with 20 horsepower is sufficient to accelerate up to 40.39 miles per hour. Operating such a snowmobile is also very easy, and it should take only 15 minutes to get used to it. The Lamborghini Huracan Storado showcases not only the power of its V10 engine, but also its rally character. This unique modification is designed for off-road adventures, as reflected in its name, which literally translates from Italian as dirt road. The suspension has been significantly modified, increasing the car's ground clearance by 1.73 inches while maintaining full drive capabilities. The LDV system assists with control by automatically adjusting shock absorbers and the anti-skid system. The original Pirelli asphalt tires have been replaced with universal bridge stone tires. These tires are noteworthy because they allow for driving at speeds of up to 49.71 miles per hour, even when punctured. Additionally, the 610 GP engine provides a maximum speed of 161.56 miles per hour. The Storato model is priced at $287,000. Wherever there is a McDonald's, there is bound to be a Burger King. The same goes for all-terrain vehicles. Where there is a Sharp, there is bound to be something similar. For instance, in today's issue, the Rover Atrina was featured. The developers state that this is a completely new technology based on previously unused solutions. In particular, the text emphasizes two independent frames of the boat with hydraulic drive as well as a patented mechanism for the fracture and roll of the frames. The technique can reach speeds of up to 31.07 miles per hour, carry up to a ton of cargo, and accommodate up to 10 people. The list of additional options is impressive, ranging from a winch to sleeping places. A Trina costs about $7,800. All-terrain vehicles are well understood, but is it possible to build an airplane with high cross-country capabilities? The answer is yes, and it is necessary. Such airplanes are commonly referred to as bush planes. They can be distinguished from typical airplanes by several characteristic features, including large low-pressure wheels and a sliding wing. Thanks to it, pilots are able to land at a very low speed of about 11.18 miles per hour. They require only 350.72 feet of straight line for takeoff and landing. Bush planes are used so widely that they can even be found in Antarctica and are used not only for cargo, but also for passenger transportation.
The release is completed by a car called Cruiser Sport. Surprisingly, the developers even created an off-road version with powerful wheels that can reach a maximum speed of about 34.8 miles per hour. The car is powered by electricity and has a range of up to 80.16 miles depending on the battery. Additionally, the standard package includes a stereo system, allowing for a musical ride.